And you take out the gut. Here we are again. You clicked another video. I thank you. You don't know how much I appreciate you for that. Because you guys keep me going. I hope you enjoyed Tuesday's video because there's a lot more of those to come. I have a few subscribers that don't live here in the Bahamas and they like to see what Bahamian life is like. So while I want to be funny and entertain you guys, I also feel like I have a duty to um, you know, show people what Bahamian lifestyle is all about. Furthermore, I went away, I shot these videos and I was like, I can scrap these because they ain't funny, people won't be interested. But you know what? I'm gonna put them out there anyway, so please watch the whole video. If you can't watch the whole video, at least watch half. And then like it and share it. And then encourage people to subscribe. Okay? So do what I ask y'all to do. Thanks. To the video. Alright, you just reached Andres. And we gotta hurry catch the ferry to my go PRs. We can get leave, so we gotta go. We ain't get leave. We'll one last time. Damn, it's now. Come on, five, five, five. We ain't get leave. I thought we get left. No. Water here is literally three feet deep. You could jump out and just you start walking. That's how shallow it is. Really, really shallow seas. Bahamas, Baja, shallow, mom, seas. You are, uh, you, you catch the fish? I, yeah, I, I would like to see all skull back. Boy, look, I will put that down and I get her hair on. So that's an everyday thing for you? Yes, I'm all, because I love it. All right. You live in, you live in Mango of Key? All the days my life. Okay. I'm born and grow here. All right. So this is something from a child. What's your name again? Annetta Road. Ah, Annetta Road? Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you also. I'm cleaning my fish. Mm -hmm. So explain to me how you use clean the fish, the process. Well, if you just um, scale, take off the scale. Mm -hmm. Take off the scale. And then you cut it in open. And you take out the gut. I will buy it. And then you clean it. I will not be able to do it. off the scale. So you all eating these tonight? Okay, you all eat tonight, but you know, take season one or two. All right. Fry them. Ain't nothing like fresh fish now. Fresh trail, does he have a different flavor or not? Right. Right. Let me go and get him fresh. Oh, the fish. Anyway. So there you see him, my Romeo Wagon. So my boy uh, walked past and asked me if I get straight. So I say, you got a fella in there getting it straight now. So he say, would you like a fresh tomato? Who am I to turn down a fresh tomato? Like my grandma say, I'm too well bred to refuse. So suppose there suppose wasn't no, uh, suppose there wasn't no electricity and my, and my brother to get a watermelon egg. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be like that, man. Thanks, bro. Yeah, no problem.
the card was no always give watermelon <laughs> thanks man i appreciate it then the lights you can see that oh yeah when i eat it you just see this fella pick this up off the ground right tomatoes are fruit buddy i eating it mm. and it's juicy apple yeah I thought I was camera tricks, ain't nobody. I see tomato just like I eat apple. Alright, I tell you, these birds are so smart and intuitive. I've been there for the past 20 minutes, up and down this little waterway, and it's like they know when you're in their habitat, and they just skillfully and instinctively move to the next side of the pond or go over there or fly over there. So yes, they wouldn't let you get close. If you don't have a long lens to catch them, <laughs> it ain't happening. There's a one-man camera crew, so I gotta try to show you all, all this. Put the camera down there, me holding this camera in my hand, and then birds over there. Hope this works. A rock. Mm. Some brave-ass birds. Meanwhile, I get eaten alive by mosquitoes anyway. See the birds right there? I got the camera down there. I'm gonna try to scare them into flying over here. Because otherwise, I hey. Damn it, leave me alone! See, here's the thing with these vlogs. I never really, really know what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna say. I just stumble upon in a, a setting or a place. Hey, I on the road. See, that's my reporter saying we gotta go. I never really know what I'm gonna say or what I'm gonna do. I just stumble upon a place and I just try to put a story together. So if this doesn't make sense, which I hope it will after I finish editing it, it does make sense. But just to give you a sense of setting, I'm in a coconut grove by the sea. That's the main road, and we gotta catch the ferry. Okay. Alright, we're about to head back to South Andres. I could try to convince Cap to let me sit up top so he can tell me exactly how he gets from over here to over there. Now, hopefully, he's still in a good mood from yesterday, but y'all wish me luck because I don't want to sneak up on top again. You know, I, I just want to go along for the ride and just, I want to be a captain. Damn it. I say, I hope you're in a good mood today. If you can explain to me, I just get from south to south, from deep south to middle south. You mean like where we crossing right now? Yeah. Um, by the ferry. Okay. Yes. So, like, look once again. I see, like, if you look behind me. You can see we um we getting out of the deep water channel, and now uh, because we don't know markets, so you're doing this all by sight, right? Yeah. And as you can see, you can see the in the back of the boat, you see that trail of mud right now. Right. We in the shallow water. Okay. But as soon as I get out, another two minutes, I'll be in the deep water. childhood memory and I used small I used to drop things a lot my daddy used to always say 
Well, you can't wake up no boat. All the supplies will be overboard. And then it's to be like, my daddy, you don't know what you're talking about. And then, like, shortly thereafter, I would drop some else again. And then he call me feeble. Hey, boy, what happened to you, boy? You feeble, it? And I go upstairs and cry. And he would say, <laughs> and she'd be like, what you crying for, boy? And he'd be like, he called me feeble. <laughs> anyway, we approaching. This is Congo Town, right? Um, Drake's Hill. Drake's Hill, we approaching. Drake's Hill camps me. That's the song, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> we approaching Drake's Hill. Uh, we just made the journey from Mango Up Key. So we went from all the way in the back there to all the way. Yeah. Entering the harbor. 8 o'clock in the morning. Like a little 20 minute ride from Mango Up Key back to Drake's Hill. And we got more work to do, so it's time to go. As soon as we hit the ground, we rolling. The good captain, boy. Man, what are you doing? Every time, every time I come down, Dross, I pass this little cove right. I know it's not really a cove, but it's like an inlet. I don't know what to call this, but it, it looks pretty cool to me. It's like it's a window to the sea. That makes sense? Beach access sign. And I'm like beach access and all this bush and then you see this little clearing that I'm standing in and then the beach I just always thought it was cool this is the first time I ever stopped to like take a photo of it I think it's really nice